This is your lower body workout. If you have weights at home, that's great, but if you're on the go, two water bottles will do to add a bit of resistance. Reverse lunge, standing tall, lunge back, and then come forward, alternating sides, keeping a nice straight back, and making sure that as you lower your knee towards the floor, you don't hit that knee on the floor. You wanna be very careful with that. So always in control of your body. Nice alternating reverse lunge. Step back and step forward. Keeping the chest up, always keeping a smile. Let's go into our recovery. Just a kick forward, kick to the side. Forward, side. Just multi-directional kicks. Our next move, go ahead, pick up your water bottles or your weights. And you're just gonna do a simple squat. But as you push up, you're gonna push up onto your toes to activate your calf muscles. So sitting back on your heels and then coming up onto your toes, activating the lower part of your body, your calf muscles. So sit down, come up onto the toes. Keeping your arms at shoulder height. Great job, go ahead, put your weights down. Let's go back into our active recovery, leading with the heel and then out to the side. Heel, side, heel and side. All you wanna do during this active recovery is keep that heart ticking away, blood flowing. No weights for this one. We're just gonna do a squat with a kick back. Squat down, not so low this time, as you come up, a low kick back, squat, kick back, squat, kick back. As I kick back, I'm leading with my heel. I'm keeping my hands up front and I'm remembering to keep my chest up. I don't wanna have a bend in that back, I wanna have a nice flat back. I wanna activate my glutes and work the lower back. recovery, kicking out and to the side, getting those kicks in, out to the side, forward and side, forward and side. Our next exercise, work the inner thighs with a lateral lunge step. So all you're going to do is step over and reach, come back to the middle, step over and reach, come back to the middle but have your hands on your hips for this exercise over and back you're gonna feel those inner thigh muscles working as you pull yourself back up to center Oh, have a good stretch and let's go back to those multi-directional kicks shaking out those legs great job keep it going now this next exercise slight bend in the knees hands are behind the head you're gonna hinge forward and come back up to standing Hinge forward and come back up to standing. Now you should feel this exercise right in the back of your legs, your hamstring muscles. And that's where you wanna feel it, right down the backs of the thighs. 
keeping a nice flat back as you lower your chest down. Keeping your arms out wide. Great job, let's go back to those multi-directional kicks. Leading with the heel. Kicking it out to the side, forward and side. Forward and side. Keeping those kicks nice and low. They're great for just loosening off the hips. Lower body power round. Pick up your weight every exercise. No rest this time. You can do it. Reverse lunges. Weights are by your side. Stepping back. Let's go. Work hard. Keep your body position. But power through. It's called a power round for a reason because it's all about powering through these exercises. Straight squat to toes, squat, activate the calves, squat, push up onto those toes. Weights come down, this time squat to kick back, kick it back. Just a low kick, not too high. Just squatting down, kicking up that back leg. Lateral this time. Hands are on the hips, up and out to the side. Now back of the body with those good mornings, slight bend in the knees, chest to the floor, open it up. Chest to the floor, open it up, you got it. Power round is over, lower body's done, enjoy the rest of your day.